So now that this has been rinsed with DI water, we're gonna go ahead and we wanna rinse it with whatever solution we want to end up in here. Because if all I do is straight take my solution, like let's say I'm using NaOH, if I take my own NaOH and I pour this in here, well right now I've got droplets of water that are in here. So if I put the NaOH in there, in essence I'm diluting the NaOH and now I've contaminated my substance and the, the titration's not gonna run as it's supposed to. So instead what I have to do is I want to add just a little bit of NaOH. So what we can do is we can lower this into the sink. Don't touch the bottom of the sink because you'll contaminate your tip but just kind of lower it a little bit and we can add a little bit of NaOH. We can use the funnel or we can do it directly from here. Notice again, I'm not adding very much and I can let a little bit of it out of the tip to make sure that the tip is clean. Now you might notice that sometimes it won't run out of the tip and that's okay and that's just because of the pressure that's on here. If that doesn't work, don't worry about it because you'll lose some of, you'll run it out of the tip once it's 100% full. So right now what I can do is again, I can kind of coat it, holding this open end over the sink, do it once, and I can do it a second time with just a little bit again. Again, we're not using very much here. We're just using a few milliliters, okay? Not even getting it up to that 50 mil mark this time because I've already rinsed it once. So now I've rinsed it a second time. If you feel like you've got anything on you, go ahead and rinse your fingers if you notice that they're slippery with, uh, if you're using a base you'll notice right away. So now I can set up my burette for my titration. So we take our burette clamp and we go ahead and we open it and we put the, the burette inside of there. Now, big rule, we always wanna make sure that we have a garbage beaker. This garbage beaker needs to always be underneath our burette whenever we're not using our burette. So before I start to fill it, if you try to fill it above your head, you have a good chance of accidentally splashing it into your eyes or dropping it or overfilling it, and that could be a major problem. So instead, we always want to take this and put this onto the floor, and we're gonna fill this on the floor. Again, have that garbage beaker there, so that way uh, it can catch any drips, and also, if I accidentally overflow, it's gonna catch the overflow also. So we're gonna go ahead and put our funnel in here. We're going to add our NEOH, making sure again that the stopcock is closed, and don't go too fast at the end because you'll notice it goes really fast at the end. You might want to kind of slow it down a little bit because you don't want this pouring out above. So I'm kind of slowing down a little. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get it so that, if I can turn this, trying to get it so that my meniscus is above the zero mark. So I'm trying to get it somewhere above the zero. I don't want to go all the way to the top, but just somewhere above the zero mark. Now what I can do, I can pick this up and bring it up to my lab station. Now, what I need to do is I want to get that meniscus at or below the zero mark to start. Above zero, I have no idea what that volume is, so I can't do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my stopcock and I'm going to, to open it until it's at or below the zero mark. So I open it and I think that looks like it is a little bit below the zero mm -hmm. mark. Does that look good to you? Yep. Okay, so the other thing I also wanna double check is after I've opened that, I probably, number one, I've rinsed through here, so remember we didn't do that final rinse, but also I may have um, gotten rid of bubbles or I still might have bubbles. To check to see if you have bubbles, because sometimes you can't see them in here, sometimes you can, you just spin your, your stop cock a couple times, see that buzzle, bubble right there? I wanna spin that a few times to try to urge that bubble out. Now. Bubble's gone, okay? Now, also, if you have any drips remaining on your tip, please make sure that you get rid of them just by taking this and just kind of gently putting that up against the side because otherwise, if that drip falls into our next solution, we haven't measured that and we don't know what that amount is. So now to begin my titration, I can go ahead and record my volume. And it's always best to have the tallest person in your group do this, therefore, Myself and Ms. Schwemmen are usually not able to do this. <laughs> nope. Um, and if you get on my tiptoes, remember that we are measuring this is zero here, this is one down here. So I am coming down from the top to measure. And Ms. Schwemmen, can you kind of see that a little better than I can? Uh, it's a little blurry. Hold is on. it? Uh, yep, it looks approximately like zero point, if I can stand still, 
0 0.59. Okay, that was going to be my guess, 0 0.59 or 0 0.60. So either one of those would be pretty good because we're only different by a hundredth. So I would say, yeah, 0 0.59 would be perfect milliliters to start. So that's my initial volume. Don't try to calculate anything. You're just writing down the initial volume that you see.